Recently, two monster storms slammed into the west coast state of Oregon with hurricane force winds over 160 kilometers per hour. The storms deluged whole towns and caused at least four deaths. I have never in my whole life seen the water come up this high. Oh. Flooding and thousands of downed trees blocked major highways for days. Despite all the destruction, this churning surf might one day become this region's greatest asset. This kind of violent windstorm is typical for this time of year here on the Oregon coast. It produces these enormous waves, and it could potentially become a major new source of energy. This giant yellow tube may hold the key to harnessing the waves. Called the aqua buoy, it's a prototype wave energy converter made by the Canadian renewable energy company, Finavera. In September, the buoy was deployed off the Oregon coast. Like a giant piston, the aqua buoy converts the up and down motion of the waves to energy. Finavera executive Kevin Bannister says the company's goal is to have wave energy farms producing electricity by 2010. Sure. Uh, here in the United States, um, there have been estimates that, that ocean wave energy um, could provide up to 10% of the nation's energy needs going forward. So uh, that's a huge number. Scientists say the potential is real. Ted Brecken is an engineering professor at Oregon State University. The amount of energy that's available in the wave is um, it, for off the coast of Oregon, for example, we have 10 kilowatts per meter crest length of the wave. So to, to put that into some context, uh, 10 kilowatts, for example, would be enough to power uh, maybe five to seven homes. So if you then had large batteries of, of extractors, you mm -hmm. could power whole cities? Yes. Ocean waves have the highest energy density of any renewable energy source, more than 800 times denser than wind. That means a small area can produce a lot of power. But what makes the ocean so attractive as an energy source, its sheer power, also makes that power difficult to tap. At Oregon State's Wave Research Lab, engineers studying the effects of surf and tide are skeptical, saying wave energy technology will need more time to mature. There's a, definitely a lot of challenges to dealing in that marine environment. I think not the least of which is this huge power coming through, but then also just surviving out at sea for years on end. In October, after a successful series of tests, Finavera's aqua buoy inexplicably sank to the bottom of the sea. The company says it will keep trying to perfect its design, and the waves will keep rolling. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Newport, Oregon.